up for you. What's the deal with all this alkaline water? This new health trend is everywhere, but what are the real benefits? We're about to reveal those results in our first ever water experiment to find out the answers. Is it more hydrating? Can it help with acid reflux? Does it even make a difference? Here to help uncover the truth is Dr. Jennifer Cardo, who knows so much about this stuff. There's health hype around alkaline water like I've rarely seen. What is yeah. all the buzz about? Oh, there's a lot of hype about it. In fact, alkaline water is everywhere, and a lot of companies say that it has a lot of benefits to your health. Now, they also say, many of these companies, that alkaline water can also balance your pH. And many people feel like you have to balance your pH, or they do it or want to do it, because they feel like it will help protect them against certain diseases or reduce inflammation, even protect against things like heart disease or obesity. But the big question is, is there really science and evidence and scientific information to really back up these claims? That's the big question. All right, so listen, before we even get to whether these claims are real or not, let's talk about what's actually yes. in alkaline water and how is it different from regular water. Yes, so we've got our regular water, plain old, good old water, nothing's in it. Yeah, notice all the ingredients, yes. right? It's not a, empty. <laughs> Nothing, okay? <laughs> then we've got our alkaline water here. So this is purified water, but it's got some extras that you can't actually see. Things like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and we've got something else, sodium bicarbonate, which is actually baking soda, right. believe it or not. And these are the ingredients that help make um, alkaline water more alkaline and less basic. Right. So doesn't matter if it's there less or not. Right, less acidic. <laughs> less acidic, right. yes. but, but it's there, so just take that into account. Yes. So let me give you a breakdown of the pH scale that you never saw in school. All right, so first of all, it ranges from 0 to 14, right? That's it. you got 14 numbers to pick from. 0 is the most acidic, 14 is the most alkaline. Now, foods like limes and pineapples, they fall on the acidic side. Foods like avocados and potatoes, they're more alkaline, right? Tends to be the healthier foods are alkaline. Water is right back in the middle, right? It's neutral. It's a seven. That's in between zero and 14. Alkaline water falls in around eight or nine. So it's just a little bit on this side. That's important for your water to be alkaline. Or does it really matter? Let's answer that. Let's go through the biggest health claims to find out if this water actually makes a difference. The first claim, alkaline water can neutralize your body. Rima drinks alkaline water because of that claim. I do. Why do you want to neutralize your body? I read that it slows the aging process and increases energy. So for me, that seems like a win-win. Oh, yeah. Who wants yeah. to age yeah. faster and have no energy, right? Yeah. So we actually looked in to whether drinking alkaline water could change your pH. So that's the first thing, right? Because if it changes your pH, maybe that has that benefit. And actually, I couldn't find a single study showing that it actually changes the pH in the blood. Now, I'm going to admit the fact that pH might change inside your cells, other things might be going on, but as far as the doctor can measure, we can't discern it. Dr. Caudill, why do you say that, that we don't need fancy water in order yeah. to maintain the pH? No, and I agree. And I, I, slowing the aging process sounds good to me too, don't get me wrong. But, you know, the thing about it is our bodies do a great job of, of neutralizing and managing our pH on its own. It actually does it by itself, which is a really wonderful thing. By the way, you look just fine. <laughs> Young and and you dead. Do. <laughs> right. Next claim, alkaline water is more hydrating. Now to find this out, we set up an experiment measuring, we well, measured P. How else can you measure hydration? For two days, I had two of my brave producers drink regular tap water, and then for the next two days, they drank alkaline water. Now all of the days, they drank the same amount of water. That didn't change, but they measured the amount that they peed, and they recorded the color, which gives you an idea of how dense it was. I've got Aaron and Hillary here. Thank you for being wonderful producers and for risking it all here. So I built a little urine scale so you could track differences. And I get you guys are professionals, so we're just going to talk about it openly here. Did you notice any difference? Well, first, Dr. Oz, we want to let you know we really did measure our pee. And we did that using this. And let me tell you, it was not easy at all. Every not time that I had exact. to pee. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, not that. But every time we had to pee, I had to be like, oh. <laughs> you know, this. Your family was okay with this? Well, I mean, my husband was a little bit hesitant, and then he actually tried it too, but <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to share your data. We're going to reveal the P measurements, but also your colors, right? Yes. So first off, walk us through what color you guys had. So my color while drinking regular water was this. And my color while this drinking... One. Yep. And my color while drinking alkaline water was also this. Mm. No and difference. No difference. difference in color. Really. And how about the volume? The concentration didn't change. So the, my volume for regular water was 1,363 milliliters. So almost a liter and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my volume per day on average. And my volume with alkaline water was 1,400 milliliters. So a little bit more, but... 
not a huge difference. And Hillary, what was your output and your color? Yeah, so for me, I it ranged between these two colors, and then when I started drinking the alkaline water, I thought I was going to go clear. But when I did drink the alkaline water, it actually still also stayed in between these two. And then for my output, when I drank the regular water, it was about 1,700 milliliters. Um, and then when I drank the alkaline water, it was actually less. It was less. 1,520. It was so not much of a yeah. difference, well, you're, even less. You're yeah. a bigger urinator than Aaron. <laughs> but other than that, we have too much. What do studies say about <laughs> hydration claims? So, so there are some people that do feel like or think that alkaline water helps with hydration better than regular water. But honestly, the studies are, we don't really have a lot of good scientific evidence to really back up this claim. So that's really where we're left. We just need more studies. I, I respect your dedicated service. Yes. Thank you, Gordon. Aaron <laughs> Hillary. Come on over here. The next claim is that alkaline water will reduce heartburn. Now, this is a really important one because it sort of makes sense that yeah. it might. Yeah, there are parts of it that do make sense. Right, this is the one where it's like, okay, as a physician, you know, and, and with this one, maybe. It's possible that alkaline water could affect um, a heartburn. You know, there have been some studies that suggest that this might be the case, and one study in particular um, actually showed that alkaline water um, kind of deactivates a digestive enzyme called pepsin mm -hmm. that plays a role and can play a role in acid reflux. So, you know, that was a laboratory study. We need more studies, but the truth of the matter is, could alkaline water maybe make a difference with acid reflux, it is possible. So it's in your own home, if a relative, someone you cared about had acid reflux, would it make sense? Would you think it's worth it? You know, I, I actually think if, if the person has an underlying healthy body and is doing well, I would say maybe giving it a try may, may not harm you. Maybe give it a try and see what you think. I'm intrigued by this yeah. reason, but I'm not yeah. so excited about the other reasons that you heard right. today. Up next, water has never been so trendy and complicated. Find out if these waters are worth it. Or, you know what, we're gonna have the ultimate water decoder here to figure it out. Stay with us.